Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on the energy of the Mercury retrograde. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you want a person reading, you can get it at the TarotEmpress.com. So this is a speciality reading. It is going to be going very deep into the energies to see what exactly are the difficulties and problems you are experiencing in your love life and what you can do about it during the Mercury retrograde. I'm also going to be looking at the energy of the individual that you are dealing with and how they are reacting to this energy. So the purpose of the Mercury retrograde is to bring to light certain issues that are deeply buried within you, certain issues that you don't recognize in your day-to-day -day life. So when Mercury is in retrograde, when it comes to Pisces, there's going to be certain energies that are, you know, coming to surface that don't usually come to surface, right? Versus if it's in retrograde in another zodiac sign, such as Aquarius, there'll be different energies activated. So do keep that in mind. Let's find out how is Mercury retrograding Pisces affecting Scorpio in their love life. Now, the Mercury retrograde in Pisces has a lot to do with karmic energy so the energy from the past it comes up very heavily the mistakes the errors the things of that nature they are amplified it's like the universe shining a light and showing that some things should have perhaps been done differently and that you know every act has a reaction These are much heavier energies, so do be aware of that. What I'm seeing from the cards is that there's this energy of sadness, but it's connected to water under the bridge. It's connected to the energy of whether or not you should have done things differently, as I mentioned, because this particular energy talks about spilled milk. It talks about a situation that played out and it's one in which you could have done things in a better way or someone could have done things in a better way when it comes to the other person. So during the course of that relationship, during the course of that union, things could have been different had you chosen different words, had you chosen different actions, had this individual chosen different words, different actions. It's all about knowing that something is being done in the relationship during a specific moment. It could either be a good action or it could be a bad action. And it's all going to have some sort of reaction in the situation. So these are the things that are coming to surface. For example, if the individual you're dealing with cheated on you, then they should have, you know, not done that. If you lied to this individual, then that should have not occurred. If someone was playing games in this situation, then that should not have happened. I hope you get my drift. So these are the type of energies that come back to haunt the relationship during the Mercury retrograde in Pisces. Again, it is dealing with the element of karma. It is dealing with the element of deep emotions. You know, the universe trying to correct things, trying to ensure that the people on this planet are living in a way in which they are harmonious. And when there's a lack of harmony, you know, during uh, the non-Mercury retrograde days, when there's uh, hostility, chaos, uh, mischievous behavior, as well as deviousness, you know, it's all going to have consequences and people don't really think about that. So when someone is hurt, when someone is experiencing pain, they're going to be feeling it even more heavily right now. They're going to be feeling it like, Oh, why did this individual have to do this? Why did this individual have to say this? Why did this individual have to uh, go so far in terms of insulting, uh, you know, um, them in that situation? And there's also the burden of guilt that comes to surface. There's also the burden of guilt that comes to surface because where one individual is the victim, the other is the cause of the pain, right? 
So this is definitely uh, that sort of energy that I'm picking up here. I feel like what could transpire during this Mercury retrograde is the offer of love, the offer or perhaps one individual extending themselves to another person, wanting to be there for them because uh, there could be that element of guilt coming into play, wanting to pick up the other person, might be aware of the fact that uh, their actions, their behaviors, everything ruthlessly knocked them down, made them feel a sense of sadness, right? And it feels as if this awful opportunity took a long time to come into fruition. It didn't just pop up. It didn't just show up, right? It feels like uh, someone may have been assessing, thinking, analyzing, wondering, should I, shouldn't I, you know, should I reach out to this person? Should I apologize? Should I try to make things better? Should I tell them I love them? Should I tell them I care about them? And then it all gets activated, right? And what I'm picking up very heavily from one particular individual is the resistance, the denial of that opportunity, that resistance, that pushing away that certain sort of thing that is coming into play. And it's a difficult, heavy energy. It really is that type of energy where one does not want to face it. One does not want to look at it. One does not want to deal with it. And that can create this, uh, you know, very slow moving energy that can make everything in the universe happen at a much slower, slower pace. And that could make you feel very frustrated. You could feel rejected or this individual could feel rejected if they reached out to you and you didn't want to, uh, you know, um, accept their offer or didn't want to accept their love. Someone will definitely feel an element of rejection during this time. It will be painful. So I'm just throwing that out there. Let's start clarifying these energies. There's definitely something that ended in this situation, right? This particular energy. Yeah, again. So this is your energy and I'm picking up there was some sort of thing that changed between the two of you. Communication changed or communication ended. Something that caused this very drastic sort of energy and I'm feeling like there's a difficulty to let go. There's a difficulty to move on. There's a difficulty to lose hope that the two of you won't talk again, that the two of you won't have some sort of conversation with each other again. And that's a very painful, painful thing to realize. It feels as if someone is stepping into their power and starting to realize certain things. And this individual could be the root of the issue as well. But because they're overthinking things or they're trying to be in control or trying to be strategic, they could be keeping you at a distance and you might feel as if they're too hard to reach. I feel like in the past, there was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of things that were coming up. Perhaps one individual was uh, playing the field of going and, and uh, looking at other possibilities or fantasizing about things and not really being authentic and, um, what's the word, faithful to the other individual, right? And now the issue of karma, which is coming in very strongly, is playing a heavy role in the situation. So this individual is doing a lot of thinking, but they're also standing in their own way here, Right? Uh, it feels as if um, the process of trying to understand and analyze is also the reason of why they're keeping you far from them right now. They do feel very, very stressed out. There's an element of stress here. And I am picking up from the cards that there's this deception that is occurring in this union. And there's uh, this grief and this worry and someone actually violated the trust or did something in the situation that was very very hurtful very difficult to bear very difficult to uh, deal with it was uh, incredibly uh, deceptive someone did something in the situation and it's coming to surface it's coming to light during the mercury retrograde in pisces and it's uh, you know glaring at the two of you it's something that you can't hide from or run from it's that big elephant in the room that has to be faced during this period of time, right? So the Mercury retrograde is definitely highlighting a lot of things that have went wrong, but there's also a crucial point here where you can either, you know, fix things as they are right now, or it could cause a great divide between the two of you. It could make things far more difficult to deal with at a later stage. 
So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. It is a speciality reading. It is much more in-depth. It is based on dealing with the energies that are currently in motion right now. So the purpose is to heal. The purpose is to fix issues that are much more, uh, you know, um, difficult to approach when it comes to tarot. You can find the link in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.